Hi, this is Christina, and um, I wanted to talk about um, some cool support that I got from uh, an ECAF e um, interview. It was Anu's um, interview uh, number nine called History Does Not Exist, um, and I was busy transcribing this video, and what was really cool was that <laughs> um, while listening to his video, he was talking about how you know, in essence, who we are as the physical is actually who we have always been, um, you know, through the design of DNA and all of that. He, he was speaking specifically about how humans within process have a tendency, or in general, have a tendency to blame him for where we currently are. And he said within that blame actually exists jealousy, and through that jealousy we then uh, participate in competition, um, and what we're doing within that is, is seeing a point within another that we have separated ourselves from or defined ourselves as inferior to, or through that competition creation within ourselves with another, and we when we feel like we're not winning, then we go into blame um, and try to diminish these people and and what was fascinating is why I was listening to this, it was just like a freaking light bulb went off. I was like, holy fuck, I can see two major relationships in my in, in my life where everything he was talking about, I was like, that's me, That's I did that, I created this competition with these other beings, and I felt like I wasn't winning, I felt inferior to them, and I would just fucking trash talk them in my mind and try to exert... Um, you know, my sense of power and control within them because I felt out of control and I felt like I wasn't winning. And um, within that, I would try to diminish them and, um, you know, internally, and he was talking about how even to the extent of outwardly expressing ag aggression towards these beings, and I did that too. I participated, you know, in this one relationship I had throughout my life, this person... I was in constant state of judgment, constant state of blame, constant state of competition, and always felt inferior and like I was never winning, but never allowing my just never allowing myself to see that self honestly. It was always then like this person is this and just, you know, fucking all this blame and talking all this shit about them in my mind and then I would outwardly become aggressive where I would say things and do things as a way to create doubt within them, um, because I had experienced that doubt within myself, and so wanting them to experience this too, and so I would be the one that would say something to, like, diminish this person within their experience of themselves, and when he said this, I was like, holy fuck, I, I, I can see so clearly how I have done that, and how I have recently been participating in that as well, and, you know, it's very, um, you know, it's a very sneaky, you know, manipulative way of being because I can see how I would, like, kind of assert myself around this specific being where I would, like, say things as a way to, like, not, I wasn't, like, directly, you know, being aggressive, but it was, like, my tonality and the way I stood and, and how I would place my words was, like, deliberately trying to make them feel like shit. And it's like, fuck, that is so abusive. And I can see that it was this whole play out of competition where I felt like I was losing. I was not winning. I was not superior to them. I felt inferior. And so I was trying to bring them down to the experience of myself, which is just fucked up because, you know, what are we doing then? We're just constantly keeping ourselves and each other down, not allowing any form of expression or expansion. And... Um, so that interview, you know, listening to that interview, interview was really like, wow, like, it's common sense I've heard over and over and over again, but it wasn't, it like, it all of a sudden, like, clicked. Um, and also within this interview, he was talking about those beings that we allow to activate this competition system within ourselves, those are the beings that actually hold our greatest transcendence, um, where, you know, within our communication and interaction with those beings, if we were to become self-honest and allow ourselves to be open to realizing they are us and not to go into blame and defense and competition, 
that, you know, who knows what we could find within that relationship. And when, when I heard that, I was just was like, well, duh, I mean, what is competition and blame and anger and, and all that shit about another person but a resistance? That's all it is. It's, it's resisting this person through, you know, seeing them in a certain way and, and you know, like, you know, it's, you know, basically just resisting them. That's all it is. And I can see that, you know, these specific relationships I've had in my life, it was like, that's what it turned into, you know, I would compete, I would feel like I was losing, so I would, you know, deliberately push them away, and destroy the relationship in essence, um, which, you know, what I've come to realize now is that I was destroying perhaps, you know, my own realization in, in, as far as recognizing, you know, who we really are and, and our equality. And that's all done through the mind. It's this auto automation that we allow as ourselves where we just accept the perceptions of the mind of how we see other people and who they are and what they're doing and it's their fault and it's just all blame and crap and it's just like, oh, what a fuck up, <laughs> you know? It's like such a fuck up. Um, so check out ecaf, ecaf <laughs> dot com. Some awesome support there, um, there's just tons and tons of videos and, and, you know, you know, interviews that are here to support us within our process and, you know, to support humanity as a whole to gain perspective about what is actually going on, who we really are, what the fuck are we doing, and how we can actually support ourselves to be the solution in this world, you know, to be what is best for all, to change to take responsibility for what we're allowing within our interaction and relationships in this world. Um, so I will, I'll place the specific interview I'm talking about below. Um, yeah, thanks. <laughs>